and welcome back. The next part uh, will be installing the local at astronomy.net server. So that is very, very similar to what we did with Astro Tortilla. It's just this is the one that uh, Sequence Generator Pro uses. So if you follow this link, it should give you what you need to download the installer. So what we'll do is I will run this. And I believe this is almost an identical install to what we had previously for Astro Tortilla. So we'll just accept all the defaults. These are the settings. You'll s if you've seen the previous video, this is, this is the same the same document we had before. So in this video, it will likely want to go off and download those uh, index files. I think it calls them, which is just their star maps. So if that comes again, I will pause the video as I don't want you don't need to sit here for ten minutes watching it download. So this inst install seems to be taking a wee bit longer than I remember. Um, I think I will pause the video and I'll resume whenever it kicks off again. Okay, so it uh, finished. It was only another couple of minutes and then it popped up with this dialog box. So I'm going to accept both of those and hit finish. So this is very similar again to Astro Tortilla. So we'll just let that through again. That's a server, so that will be letting other programs access it. So what we had calculated previously was that our highest largest field of view was 1.75 I think we chose. So we will go up to here t t t to degrees so that is that would be the one for us and then the narrowest will be in around 12 mark minutes so that is this one again. So if we just hit start that will go off and start downloading. So as I said I'll pause the video here and I'll resume once this is finished. Just popping back in. So this has been running quite quite a while now. I think it's about half an hour it's been going. Uh, hoping this is the last file. We we'll soon find out. No, no, it's gonna run on for another wee while more I think. I've noticed the sizes have dropped down to twenty six instead of fifty two and the speeds have dropped away off so I assume the Servers getting a bit of a hammer, and somebody else must be doing an install. Um, I'll pause again, and I'll come back once this is finished. Okay, guys. So I am running short on time here, so I'm going to stop this video. And if there's any more config required after this point, which I'm pretty sure there isn't, I will put it in a new video. Thanks.